Hi there friends and welcome to my Archmage guide for Spellcaster University. I'm Icon and in this video I will allocate all the little tips and tricks that I know which make it easier for you to train an Archmage. The Archmage class is pretty desired uh, overall because it is a way to earn a star at the end of your levels which is pretty cool because you only need to train one Archmage. But how to pull it off? The thing about Archmages is they need four types of magic at a level four of higher. This is something which doesn't happen on its own too easily, and it's pretty hard to pull it off in the first few universities of your run. Basically, training Archmages becomes easier and easier the more schools you have had in your run. So we're going to go through the methods I know of which I found really really useful to ensure the training of an Archmage along the road. So I prepared a little bit of a school to get that going. So before we start out though I want to lose a few words about the value of Archmages in my opinion and how important it is. So an Archmage improves the improves the amount of gained mana by 1% per Archmage. This means when your students generate mana, the more Archmages you had, the more mana you will get. This will result in more drawn cards, but that's it. So overall, the Archmages don't directly make anybody better in your school. They only give you more opportunities to draw cards and get more options. This alone is really, really massive. And basically, the good thing about uh, Archmages is the better your schools get and the better you get at this game, the easier it will be to produce them kind of like naturally. But there are also ways to force yourself into your luck. So in this school, I didn't do too much yet. We only have one basic room of each color, which I bought myself with the gold we had here from the get-go. And this is the basic fundament which, we're, which we will be using. For Archmages, I really like to check out the houses I draw first. So for example, this is already a very, very good opportunity. We have Arcane Scholar and we have Child of Nature together. With the training of Archmages, I really do like these bonuses for specific magic schools, but honestly, it's also pretty much the only time I like these features too much on houses. But if you are out to train Archmages, these come in really handy. So we favor the nature magic and the arcane magic on these people. And well, there can be a fourth, a third type of magic, but I personally like to put my schools something, my houses on something which looks like this. So now they have a priority access to nature and arcane and a normal access to light. Each school branch gives you access to three different types of magic. So therefore, this is uh, a pretty good uh, thing to go. If you want to go for a strategy like this, though, I highly recommend you to recreate a house on the side of this like this. It's perfect. Worker plus athletic, moving faster, learns all magic faster. This is where we will dump all the not so uh, insanely good students at. Also, I can you can forbid the preferred schools of the other house out of a simple reason. If we do it like that, nature and arcane classrooms will be always open for the house I want to train my archmages in. If we don't do it like that, there's a certain possibility that our archmages-to-be will not get the necessary training they want because the schoolroom is not available for them. So when we're checking out students here, of course, we're going to put in everybody who has already one of these traits, like Child of Nature and Arcane Scholar, into the Archmage house. Although I gotta say, a dumb student try to avoid them. Reduced learning rates of 40% are really bad. The only, way, the only moment I would put this person into the Archmage training program would be if we had a seven year studying time. That, that could be an option to me. So in this scenario, we're going to put this poor sod into the general class. So Jack of all traits is a pretty interesting trait too, because the first levels of all magic disciplines learned faster translates into he gets faster to train towards the level four things. 
it's also not bad. But basically everything below at least appropriate shouldn't be considered as student material for the ArcMage class. So when we check out this, uh, the students here, I can show you better how the uh, whole thing is uh, meant to be. So the ArcMages need four of these dots on a level of four. Another method which worked quite well for me when I tried to force ArcMages was also to allow only two schools. This is a little bit riskier though, and it works best when you have a lot of specialized rooms already, like if I already had the three purple specialized rooms and the three green specialized rooms, then this could be a pretty good option to go for. New house cards are of course quite appealing for this strategy as well. If you don't have the luck to acquire the necessary traits that we had here from the first one. Because I personally feel like these uh, two traits are really powerful to train Archmages. There are also appealing options with Athletic or... Uh, how was it called again? I forgot the name of the trait which makes your students learn level 4 and level 5 magic uh, better. This is also pretty de a pretty interesting and appealing option because everything which makes your students learn faster is very, 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 very interesting to say the least. So beyond that, we're just uh, stacking up what we're doing best. And the next things that I want to talk about are, wait a sec, we had arcane and nature. Well, too bad. The other things that I want to talk about are items which allow you to learn skills passively. These are insanely good for your challenge. Basically, if we would want to check it out, every passive learning item which yields schools out of the nature branch or the arcana branch are now insanely interesting for me. There are lots of items which yield you some plant learning skills or some oh, chosen by the light. It's pretty good too. And uh, there's a lot of different things where you, which you can go for. They are quite uh, interesting because your ultimate goal is just to get to the point where your where your archmage is to be can hit four skills at level four. And therefore, the easiest way to achieve that is to push the learning rate of that. Just uh, not finding any of these right now. So we're going to pick up some nature mana and hope for the best. Yeah, well, as you see here, I'm also picking up the specialized rooms for the, for the magic types as quick as possible too, because this is uh, the next important thing. You have to have enough school rooms for these people because otherwise you will suffer quite hard so therefore the good strategy that i uh, also discovered was in this scenario if we really would want to train as many archmages as possible in one run it would be even valuable to duplicate nature and arcane rooms again like not only have one dolmen room but have two dolmen rooms not only have one nature room but have two nature rooms this is only important if your classes grow larger though. Otherwise it's not that important because you you just need to make sure that you have a training spot for everybody who, who wants one. That's all. As soon as your students are not able to find learning spots anymore you're in a bad spot and therefore well you can pretty easy check it out. If you have always full classrooms you need more rooms but there's another thing which makes it really valuable to pick up more classrooms and that's teacher behavior because you know teachers they don't exactly teach permanently no they don't not at all to be exact teachers quite often are not around whenever you need them having two classrooms of what you what you want gives you the other benefit of having more uptime for these classrooms. That's why I emphasize this so hard. And here we go, the terrarium is a wonderful uh, example. Active students slightly improve their herbalism. In this scenario, I would try to put this room now either into a arcane or a light room, 
or well a nature room would work too but in this uh in this scenario i'll make sure that now whenever somebody learns here he's also improving his herbalism sooner or later these little tricks will add up to more and more chances of achieving exactly what you want and that's four skill levels on four different uh, magic schools as we see here things are not getting down as easy i'm still not really sure what the best moment is to start farming archmages for real i made the experience that it is a lot easier to train archmages once your school once you are in the third or or fourth school maybe to, maybe the second school if you really draw uh, if you really picked up a very very nice book but beyond that don't try to force the archmage quest too early on because that's most likely gonna be a problem for you also don't try to put these uh, classrooms too close to each other it's really good if you have them scattered a little bit across the school out of a simple reason this way your students have more options and there's a higher chance that you know if your student finishes his uh, studying here and there's one empty classroom here and one classroom with a teacher here you get the idea although student pathing don't take my tips about student pathing with a grain of salt because i gotta say these are really really a pain to deal with so try to also have all the specialized classrooms for the uh, focused schools you have for the archmage quest it's also very very important and beyond that it's up to luck because at the end of the day you never know if you actually get that uh, graduation on on an archmage or not you don't have these things entirely completely under control but by making by denying the the field of studies a little bit for your archmages to be and by making sure that the other houses are not allowed to block the classrooms for your archmages to be you really increase the chances alone by that by a lot of course everything which increases the efficiencies for the classrooms which train the magic your archmages to be are going to have of course go for that the last little options that i see there are of course trying to only focus students with a high as possible intelligence and trying to come accommodate combine that with teachers of the right alignment because at the end of the day every teacher has an alignment and as you see here neutral neutral students will be more resilient they, they don't grow bored that quickly and the the other thing there is that with the secondary alignment if this is a match your students even will learn faster the real funny thing there is there's a couple of items which adjust the alignment of the students and the teachers so a pyre for example from the light items i sadly don't have one here right now it changes the alignment of everybody working there towards good and this you can use to to crank out a couple of more a couple percent more of your uh, learning rate but that's it i don't really knew i don't really know many more ways of uh cranking out more archmages at the end of the day it's also up to luck the ambitious trait oh, wow well, that's one that i uh, forgot to mention so far the ambitious trait can be really really handy too because the this trait does just make it so that the uh, students try to prefer the most uh, valuable career when they graduate so basically this means you can ensure a higher chance of rolling archmages when you go for ambitious students but beyond that there's really not much more you can do except for being lucky and uh, 
stuffing your school with I with du duplicate rooms of the schools that you want to enforce your ways. So as we see here, the uh, the progress is being made. You can already notice that the green schools where I put down more uh, rooms, they are way more studied than anything else so as you know as you can see here it already has a certain impact all right i hope this will help you to uh get those arc mages going of course there's uh, for sure a lot of other things which you can do feel free to drop your strategies down here in the comments below because this is by no means a competition the more knowledge we accumulate the more arc mages will be there to defeat the lord of evil so leave a thumbs up on that video if you enjoyed it and of course Check out my channel, I do daily content, maybe you find something there you like, just hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything in the future. Down there in the description box there you find also a link to my Discord community, so if you might want to check that out I'd be really happy to say hi there to you, alongside with a lot of other people who love the who love gaming just like me and last but not least down there in the description box you will find links towards my patreon and my coffee uh, sponsoring site so if you might want to check those out i'd be really really happy if not i don't mind just let me say one more time thank you for watching it's really meaning a lot see you guys the next time bye bye